Last time on The Missing, we brought you the story of Emmanuel Perez, a North Houston man who mysteriously went missing and his house was set fire shortly after he disappeared. The family told us that a friend gave them a tip to check the bayous, but it turns out the person who gave them that tip is now missing too. Tonight we introduce you to Christopher Flores and show why family remains suspicious that Christopher's efforts to befriend and help a relative of Emmanuel may have something to do with all of this. I'm not doing good. I'm trying to be strong. It's very hard not knowing where my son is at. With her dear friend by her side, Gloria is opening up about her son, Christopher Flores, who she describes as having been a fixture in his neighborhood near Houston's White Oak Bayou, just north of the Loop. Him and his truck. Everybody knows his truck, but ever since he was a little boy, he loved cars. Just a quick glance at the machine shop that I built. Mama didn't raise no dumb. He was fixing the truck to go to the Adorama. He had previously won first place. But on Saturday, August 21st, 2021, Christopher told friends he's going to meet up with someone. The following Monday, his mother gets a call from his apartment complex. They needed to get in touch with Christopher. His apartment had caught on fire. He was not answering his phone. I went to his job. The supervisor says, Miss Flores, we have been trying to call him all day yesterday. And that's very unusual for Christopher. She reports him missing and soon receives a tip. A woman claiming her relative knows what happened to Christopher. The relative had said that there was harm done to him. And this was shortly after Christopher had given a tip right. to the family of this woman about a missing loved one of their own. Right. That's right. Christopher went missing after giving this family a tip on Emmanuel Perez, another missing person case recently featured on Fox 26. Emmanuel had been missing for months. Suddenly, his house also caught on fire. That's where he dropped her off, yeah. at the house. And, at um, Emmanuel's house? At Emmanuel's house. Another twist in the plot. Emmanuel's relative, with that ominous warning about Christopher, that is who Christopher had dropped off at Emmanuel's house the night before it went up in flames. He even uh, messaged me and said, Mom, the house is burning. After he mentioned that, he went missing two weeks later. But it gets even stranger. That relative is who the family believes Christopher went to meet the night he vanished. Family soon got another call that this person had made another comment about Christopher. I got him. I did him good. He's in the storage right now. He's in storage. Right about Christopher? So you must have gone right to... Oh, yeah, that night, friends. I mean, we, they all swarmed over to that public storage down the road. And what did you find? Nothing. But you can't get into the storage. Time passed, and that public storage caught on fire. Three fires, two missing people. But could it all just be a wild coincidence? Arson investigators who Fox 26 spoke to tell us that they simply don't have the right evidence to tie these incidents together or name a suspect. Because there's no evidence, hard evidence. So Gloria carries on for Christopher's granddaughter, Gloria's great granddaughter. She doesn't know about grandpa yet. She knows about daddy. She knows that her daddy died a couple of years ago. Christopher's son. Christopher's son. The baby knows about death. She knows about loss. So does Gloria. Not only has she lost a grandson, but also her husband when Christopher was mere weeks old. And then... My oldest son committed suicide at the age of 18. Now she's putting out the call for anyone who can help her find what happened to Christopher. What he would tell me is, Mom, and even my grandson said the same thing too. I hope I go before you because I cannot stand losing you, Mom, or losing you, Grandma. Since starting this series, Fox 26 viewer tips have led to one man's safe return home and numerous major tips for cases, some of which I have had to report up to the FBI thanks to you because you've been caring and continuing to share these reports. Every expert we've spoken to agrees that sharing these stories is the most useful way to support these families, even if just to let them know that they are not forgotten. 
So you will find these stories for you to share on fox26houston.com tonight under the missing section of the Fox 26 originals. And if you really want to dig in, make sure you join our streaming show, The Missing Live on Wednesday night. This week, Gloria will join us. And like always, you get to conduct the interview. You get to ask the questions. It is interactive with our live stream on the Fox 26 Facebook page, making it easy to hop in the comments and ask Gloria anything, any questions you have about the wild case we just told you. You can also watch on Fox26Houston.com or the Fox26 YouTube channel where you can watch past episodes. Again, that's this Wednesday, 7 p.m. on the Fox26 live stream.